Hey guys, it's Stephanie here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful spring day. It's actually really cold where I'm living right now. Our spring has been exceptionally cooler than it normally is, but I'm grateful because we've needed the moisture, but it's also a beautiful day since it's overcast to highlight some of the tulips that I grew in late December. If you've been following along my videos, I planted them really late in the game. It was mid-December. I was hitting up Walmart and Lowe's and a lot of the tulips are on clearance. And this combination over here that I'm gonna show you, I actually didn't remember what colors I had planted. And now that they're out and open, I could not be more happy with this color scheme. They are absolutely gorgeous. Let's go take a look at them. They've been out in bloom for about a week and a half now to two weeks. I have just been so pleased with my tulips this year because they just handle any temperature they are given, snow, rain, warmer temperatures, drops, all of those things. So I'm definitely gonna be planting a lot more this fall. Okay, so look at these. Don't you guys think all of these soft purples and creamy whites with that added dark, almost black tulip is so beautiful. When I bought these in December, I was hoping they'd all come out and bloom around the same time. So I was successful with that. They've really evolved over the last week and I just can't get enough of them. I love, I think they're so calming. And then I love the texture of those spiky tulips. I think they're really cool. And then I can't really show you one of them, but some of them have like fringe tops. And so that's what's so cool about tulips. There's so many different types and varieties and colors that you can put together. There really is no rules. And I'm learning that. <laughs> There's just so many different bun colors you can put together. I have been successful to keep the deer off my tulips. I sprayed diligently for about three months. Not one of them got chomped down. And so I was really, really happy with that because that would have been really sad if I put all that work and not seen all these tulips. But I love right here when the wind just subtly blows them. Oh, thank you. I hope you guys like this fun little update. I need to remind myself to sit and relax and enjoy my flowers more often. Sometimes I get so caught up in working and making everything look better that I forget to just sit back. I guess that's where the term comes in, sit back and enjoy the roses. Anyways, my cute little girl must have known I needed this little break because she brought me a cheese quesadilla. So I think I'll start eating that and I'll just sit on this bench for a good 10 minutes, listen to the birds chirp and admire some of my tulips. I'm actually having a really hard time cutting them and putting them in vases. They might just stay in here forever. Okay, we'll talk to you later and have a great day gardening. Bye.